Can you see I'm being spied on right now? <laughs> I'm gonna go smell some perfumes. And I ran out of my favorite deodorant ever. I've been super into perfume talk and I just, I want to smell all the perfumes and see what people are talking about. I love the idea of scents, but then sometimes they overwhelm me too much and they just, they, it's it, like, literally my skin aches from it. <laughs> but I love like the way people describe scents, like uh, the specific words they use and I really want to get into it. So let's go. But before I go, I'm going to take my dogs out for a little walk. My glasses are dirty, aren't they? My perfume of the day actually right now today is insect repellent. <laughs> it's mosquito season. So I want to go to Cobb's Bread and then maybe get a bubble tea or something. Originally, I wanted to do this all tomorrow and go see a movie by myself but uh, I might go gaming with a friend. Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops, I'm sure a lot of people still play, but I only exclusively like zombies. I'm not super big on anything else. Like, I don't mind it, but, like, I love zombies. So I've been trying to find, like, PlayStation, I think, 4 games that have Black Ops zombies that you don't have to pay for. Because, like, on PlayStation, I think it's PlayStation 2 or 3, like Black Ops 2, there was so much zombies. These days you have to pay for like an online membership and then pay for everything on top of that. So it's really sucky. <laughs> I don't even have a PlayStation. <laughs> I have an Xbox, but I find like playing it alone is so boring. I would rather play with somebody. So let's go. So I'm looking into what movies to go see. There's a bunch that I want to see. I want to watch Civil War. I want to watch Tarot. I want to watch strangers part one but i'm trying to see like because it does suck to pay so much money and then the movie is horrible so so far tarot seems to be the one that has the best reviews but it's hard because it's so subjective right i personally think civil war is going to be the best but then it had like the worst reviews so i'm not sure i wish i could ask you guys but it's going to be way too late by the time you see this i'm done my work day for now so i'm just going to take the dogs out and we have like about two hours to decide what to watch anyways because there's nothing playing until like seven we had to shave Misha again don't look at her kevin, come on kevin come on we have our chihuahua friends over here don't eat them Misha. come on hello <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I don't think so. I'll get the girlfriend already. Thank you. <laughs> Milo. Good morning. Do you hear all the rain on the car? I did my nails last night because I keep picking at my fingers and it's so painful. Um, we didn't end up going to see a movie last night. I just ended up somehow having a chihuahua party, which was really cute, not gonna lie. So my two chihuahua friends are Willow and Luigi. <laughs> and they're, uh oh, Willow, Luigi, and Kevin are just so perfect. And then we have my problem child, Meisha, who just wants to, she has beef with Willow, first of all. She had beef with Luigi, but she's good. She's chill with him now. She tolerates him, but I don't know why she just hates the little chihuahua. It's so sad. But anyways, we're gonna go to Costco today, do some groceries, and yeah, I really don't have anything else planned. I'm probably gonna edit some shorts later, and that's about it. So let's go. Note to self, I don't think I like fish. <laughs> but now, I'm gonna go smell some perfume. I narrowed it down to two perfumes, the first, both of them from Jo Malone. One is Red Roses, the other is Yuzu Zest. So I sprayed Yuzu Zest. And I think it's quite unique. So, now we're on our way to Costco.
I got these fake flowers. They look quite real, right? I want to put them in here. Lisa, what are you doing? I think they're a bit tall, but... Let's do my morning skincare together. This is actually a Cetaphil cleanser, but I really like the Glossier bottle a lot better. So I got prescribed azelaic acid, and I've been using that recently. So I use this in the morning, and then I use retinol at night. But I've been using a lot less retinol, and my skin has gotten... I think better. I'm not too sure because I feel like my skin is a lot more textured than it was before. But before when I was overusing retinol, my skin was also breaking out every single day. Super, super red. But between the breakouts, it was like glass. <laughs> but it was also really, really red and irritated. So you win some, you lose some. Now it's more textured but quite clear and not as red and irritated and I'm not getting pimples every single day. I think I healed my skin barrier. So. <laughs> but seriously, I was overusing the retinol. I just kept thinking like I need to use more because it's clearly not working but then I figured because I'm using so much of it is probably ruining my skin so it was also like a little waxy which I heard is not like amazing I would also just overuse the moisturizer as well so then the pimples that would come every day would just take forever to go away because I was irritating my skin so much with the overusing of retinol and then I would just slather so much moisturizer on top as well so lesson learned even though I <laughs> kind of new. I mean, I've been telling myself for a long time now that I need to tone down the retinol, but I wasn't willing to let it go. And to be fair, I haven't let it go. I still use it every night, but I actually use a pea size amount. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that too much of a good thing is bad? And on a general basis, I've really been enjoying replacing my foundation with this tinted sunscreen. But I also have this house up foundation that I definitely don't want to go to waste. I'm going to use this up today to wash my beauty blender. Seriously though, I've been doing doing a lot of work to heal my skin barrier. I saw so many TikToks about healing your skin barrier. And it was only when someone said, like, this is what my skin looked like after using too much retinol that it clicked. Even though kind of like I knew for a while that I need to stop using so much retinol. But I'm starting to wonder, maybe my skin wasn't like, well, my skin's always been kind of sensitive, but maybe it's not as sensitive as I thought it was. And maybe it was just the retinol. <laughs> Because every time I would use a new product, I would break out, but I think I would have broken out even if I didn't use a new product, you know what I mean? And just like, any new product would kind of burn, but I think it's just because I was using retinol, not because my skin is super sensitive, does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> and I gave so many good products away too, <laughs> because I was just so convinced that my skin was too sensitive, and now I'm like, oh, we'll never know now. I'm not gonna go back and buy them, god damn. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish my makeup and then I'll be right back. I'm done my work for the day. So I'm gonna go take my dogs out, but first I'm going to touch up my sunblock. I tried putting powder on my nose this morning to like prevent it from getting red, but that clearly did not <laughs> work. It's okay. This has also got so got empty so quickly. Let's flip it though. We're gonna flip this. Oh my god. I didn't want this to become a mess. Another one of my makeup pet peeves is makeup creasing here. I don't even put any makeup on my eyelids. I put just regular cream and it creases as well. And then I put powder. I wipe it off. I put powder, everything. And it's still done. Where's the makeup coming from? Because <laughs> I don't put any there. Good morning. So... I'm gonna go for breakfast today. I found this cute little like tea place. It's the only way I can describe it. It has like a cute tea aesthetic. I don't know. Apparently they do high tea, but you have to do it in advance or whatever. I don't know. I guess we're not doing high tea today. But like I saw like the teacups and they're like teacups. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get it, okay? Anyways, here's what's in my bag. I have lip balm. I brought sunblock to touch up. It's been getting so hot recently. I really want to go swimming so bad. I might do that on the weekend. Hand sanitizer, of course. Monies. I have naproxen in here. And then I have two samples that I took at Sephora the other day. So let's see if they still smell. I think this is Red Roses by Jo Malone. It's so pretty. 
And this is yuzu. I really like the yuzu zest cologne. Like this would be my, if I go and smell it again today, which I probably will. If I go smell it again today, I do enjoy it. I do really enjoy it. I think I might get it. Because if I just go again and like spray it on me again to be like, let me see. Like it would be my third time doing that. Like I feel like, I feel like every time I put it on, I really enjoy it. So it's lovely. But the red roses too, I think it's beautiful. Like I love the idea of smelling like a rose, but they don't have it in stock. I checked. I might spray this one on me this time to see and just buy the yuzu because I know I like it. But anyways my mom didn't close the door very well and the little puppies nudged their little noses and opened it so then there was some mosquitoes in the house it's mosquito season it's horrible horrendous but you just have to become one with the mosquitoes these days what can you do there's not much to be done anyway <laughs> Eat a lot of lettuce, but you're toxic. That's been in my head. No, 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 my friends, they don't like you. Hi. Time to go to the farmer's market. Okay, so I ended up getting the perfume. I tried on the red roses, and it's not my favorite, so I'm glad I did that. Here's the perfume that I got yesterday, and I want to put it on. So it's the Yuzu Zest Cologne by Jo Malone. Here she is. So it says limited edition online. So I don't, I mean, that's what kind of made me not want to get it. Cause like, if I love it, then that sucks. Oh, I love that smell. I'm gonna put it on my chest. Mm. So citrusy and fresh. I love it so much. I'm gonna be, I hope, it would be really sad if it's like never available again. I just took my nails off. <laughs> R.I.P. Is there a description? Ooh, okay. Bathing in summer vibes on a tropical beach, the air electric with the fragrant trail of yuzu with distinctive vivid notes. The mouth-watering fizziness of the citrus fruit is enhanced with woody depths of cedar wood and a resinous touch and a resinous touch of fear balsam. Vivid mouth-watering fizzy. I feel like I mispronounced some of those words. So we have the top being the top is yuzu, the heart is clary sage, and the base is fear balsam. Fear balsam? I like it. I would say it's like a little bit masculine, zesty. I feel like when people describe scents online, you're like, that sounds beautiful and poetic. And then you go and smell it and you're like, my head hurts. <laughs> That's my experience anyways, so, <laughs> but I really like this scent. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Kevin, leave him alone. Oh. He was just snuggling in my back. So I forgot that I had to babysit a chihuahua. We live, oh my God, he's so precious. Long-haired chihuahuas are so cute. <laughs> and Kevin will not leave him alone. To me, it's quite clear that my dogs just don't love me. <laughs> they don't love me because Luigi and Willow they snuggle me so much. And then my dogs, because I have a dog, they're here. But otherwise, they wouldn't. Meisha's a little bald right now. Don't look at her. We have an appointment. Oh, look at his little ears. Oh, we have an appointment for her for the vet next week. Or is it this week? It's Friday. This is so cute. Willow. He's literally like the cutest little teddy bear. Willow, come on. Come on. My hair is so greasy today, but anyways, so I just saw a friend of mine, <laughs> a friend because I just find like he's not really a good friend. And do you ever just have some of those friends who like don't text you, don't keep in touch whatsoever? Like I literally told this person, you're a bad friend. <laughs> like pretending I don't exist for weeks is not my idea of friendship. But for some people it is, it's not for me. I just prefer that people pretend I do exist. That's great for me. So I don't know, I just saw him now and I'm like, well, I have to go to groceries. He's like, I can't, I come here and now you're leaving. Like, yeah, I haven't heard from you in forever. In fact, the last time I heard from you was when we made plans, when you solicited me, is that the right word? When you approached me to make plans and then pretended like, oh, well actually I'm like super busy. Well, like why would you suggest it then? Like, I don't get it. And then the next day to just ghost me about it. Do you know what I mean? Like people who are super flaky, who like make plans, who, who approach you to make plans 
and then goes to you to make because I don't get it. So I'm gonna go do some groceries. I want to make kimchi. I want to make like Korean army base too. So I need some spam and stuff. So let's go do some groceries. These dogs are gonna make me go broke eating all my homemade food. You too, Willow. 